Hi, I'm Maddie from DeviantArt. I'm here today with CG Labs, all the way in from Singapore, and we're going to be playing some Tekken 7 in this stream sponsored by Bandai Namco. So check it out. You can watch as we play a bit of the game that comes out tomorrow, June 2nd, before you're picking it up for yourself. Um, we'll be playing around for a little bit, and then afterwards, CG Labs is going to go ahead and draw some Tekken 7 fan art for us. So you ready to play? Yeah, Who absolutely. Who do you want to play for this round? <laughs> um. I'm always in for the females. Well, I'm going to go for Nina because I really like her wedding dress. Oh, oh, she's strong. Yeah, she is. Go for Chloe. Okay, great. So it'll be like the bride no, versus wait. the cat. I pressed the wrong button. Go over to yes. Or sorry, say no. No. Yes. Okay. okay now we can Lucky Chloe. go ahead. Okay, so I'm <laughs> not particularly good at these fighting games, just uh, to be honest. I have fun with it. They're really good. Okay. But I am not personally super great. I'm mostly just a push buttons and see what happens. Just to let you <laughs> know, guys, she beat me on her first try. I did beat him on his first try, but you I did. lost on my second try, so uh, we'll you? see what happens. Yeah, when I was a panda. <laughs> yeah, no, I've not tried. played well as a panda so far, but I've done well <laughs> as the bride, but then, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, okay. I love her outfit. Like, oh, I want to just have, okay. like, a furry cat paws that I can hang I out with. Yeah. It's also funny, because she has a gun, but she doesn't oh, use the gun. Oh, because the gun is actually a grapple hook. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens. Oh no! What are you doing? I don't know. I have really long legs. Okay. Okay. Oh no! I also have no idea how to block, and he does, which oh. he hasn't told me how to do it yet. No, I did. It just pressed back. Wait, but it doesn't, it doesn't work whenever I do it. See, look, I'm going back, and you're still hitting me. Oh, because I was doing a low kick. Low kick. You can't block low kick. Gotcha. Oh, oh dear. Not doing too hot, but yes, ultimate. No! Oh, I was. Oh my god. I'm dead. This is great. I haven't actually seen this. Yes! Oh my god. I was. So apparently on PS4, if you hit both triggers at the same time and you're low on health, you can uh, do an ultimate type move. And I've only successfully done it once so far today. So, uh, oh no. We'll see uh, what happens. You are so strong. That little backflip, I don't know how I did that backflip, but I liked it. Oh, it's, I, I guess it's circle and back. Oh dear. I want to do like a cool combo thing, but I don't know You're any going to use your ultimate again? Oh, I forgot. Come on. <laughs> no! Yes, I am! <laughs> I blocked it. Oh, you, you blocked it! Yeah. No! <laughs> yeah, I tricked you into it. Yeah, you're right. I should have, uh... Fight. I didn't even realize my health was so low. Oh my god, that kick is crazy. Like, so, yeah, I played a little bit of Mortal Kombat before, but I lost horribly. Um, I am enjoying this quite a bit more. Also, the female character. Did I kick you? Can I kick oh, you? Oh, is your ultimate? Yes. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Don't kill me. Feeball. Oh my god, I'm so... Die. No, wait. <gasps> okay, um, I'm gonna die. Yep. Yes! Told me I was gonna oh. die. I was not good for you. You're so good. I'm I also like really stressing. like this hat. I love her headphones. I want yeah. a pair of headphones. I'll sleep from the one from Yume. <laughs> yeah, I know. It looks a lot like Yume's headphones that she designed. Okay, let's do some different characters. Okay. Um, yeah, the. Oh, am I. Oh, there we go. Okay, characters left. Okay. Damn, my head is getting sweaty. There's a lot of different ones. I kind of want the guy with the jaguar head next, I think. He looks like a pro wrestler. Oh, yeah. I think his name is King or The King. Oh, okay. Let's play some. Oh, then I will play something monster. I'll go with... <laughs> you go with the, the alien dude, man. guy, and I'm yeah. going to go with the wrestler. Everyone would like this character with a female character. Yeah, exactly. You gotta mix it up a little bit. <laughs> and we're just okay. picking random um, different places to play. Battle, battle, battle. This character, you look so strong, a character. Just because I look strong doesn't mean I'm going to be strong, though, because that's what I've learned in games. You never know. Yeah. Like, it tries to give us combos. I don't know how to do those. Rage art. I like that it's called rage oh. art. Oh, yeah. You can only use it when, when there's this great color thing on you. Oh, yeah. gotcha. But you can that also use sense. your ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. Look how long it, I want to see how this goes. 
Yes, oh I did my combo. No. No, I can't hit you. Can, can you can you let me fly? Oh my god, you're not giving me a chance. I'm not, I don't want to like. It's like, oh, let me uh, can you let me win, please? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> suplex. Oh my god, this is so great. Oh Except it didn't kill god. you, it just brought you down. Oh no, no, wait, I don't like this. Can I can I reach you? Can I reach you? No. Yes, oh! I blocked it. Okay, that was the first time successfully blocked anything. Oh, no. Whoops! Was that me? I think it's me. Okay. Sorry. No worries. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no, 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 Get away. I kicked you? Oh, barely! Oh, that was so close! Okay, you're going down. No, no, no. Leave, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> you say, me alone. Keep, keep saying, leave me alone, but you're the one actively pursuing me. Offense is the best defense. Oh no! What am I doing? Okay. Um, oh, oh my god! What did I, I, just... I don't know what I just did, but I like it. Do I have a tail? I wish I had a tail. That's the only thing I'm missing. Okay. Can I rush I... you? Did I rush you? What? Um, you still use your ultimate? Yes, I do. That's weird. Do I still have life? Oh, great! Oh my god, it's, we're both like one hit away from death right now. And you've already been winning. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes. That's great. Um, Guys, I'm not going to lose this. Yes. I'm not even hoping. I'm just pressing a lot of buttons to see what happens, which apparently is not necessarily the best strategy in these games. But I guess people come. Look at like the guys cheering for us in the okay, background. I'm They're jumping. so excited. I'm jumping. Oh, I'm farting as well. What? See, my, my, oh my, my god. god is killing you. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I'm going to just... No, no, don't do it, don't do it. You're just gonna jump around a little bit first. <laughs> I wanna try my... Kick, kick, please! Yes! Oh no, wait! Yes. I was in the middle of my <laughs> ultimate! You destroyed me! Oh yeah, I was, just, I was so lucky. Okay. I was so lucky. No, that was great. Yeah. Yes, we'll try a different character out. Mm. I'm gonna try someone I haven't played. I didn't play him before, so that was all completely new, every move that he did. Yeah, okay, I'm trying something new as well. Okay. I I played most of the female character, because mm -hmm. I like Welcome the character. The I still don't know himself. most of them. Um, I want to try out Paul, because he has some Jesus. sick hair. <laughs> okay, let me get That's it. great. Is this like Jesus? I have, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Like Jesus. Okay. Oh, we Do have a... What's this? Giant oh. robot versus like Team America. Why not? Why not, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not the villain. Twilight Conflict. Hmm. I'm so nervous. I feel like I need to defend my honor, but I've just been losing horribly. No, you, I'm. I lost. I lost the first one, right? No, you won overall, but I? I lost. You lost the first round, I believe. Oh, okay. Okay, rage art. This is tough. I need to figure out how to do this. I. Well, I look you like the. Are those giant villain. like? Search like the magnifying glasses all over your body. Is that? It kind of looks like it. It looks like screws to me. Yeah, it looks like screws to me. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, sorry, I was doing like little white uh, marks on your Oh my the god, red. I am so slow. Time to. Oh, what the hell? Can I grab you? Can I. Oh, I grabbed you! What? Can I try again? No! <laughs> You're competing! Okay, I guess you can do it. <laughs> Yes, do it! Do it! No, wait, I want to get my ultimate. I think I blocked, but I jumped. Yeah, you jumped. Oh, no, I'm super dead. Yes. Yeah, this one doesn't even look Round like a fair two. fight. Um, really? I saw but, two people. No, I mean, in, yeah, in the Captain game it is. Yeah, Captain America. But if you just saw two people, like, 
who looked like this fighting on the street corner. I would kind of expect the guy who looked like you to win, just to be completely honest. Oh, cuz, oh my god, why am I losing? I don't know. Chop slam. Oh my god. Did I do it? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what? Why, are you, why is your hair still intact? I don't know why, but I like how my hair is like beautifully like flat on top. Oh, I, I'm dead. Oh man. Oh my god. Uh, maybe I stole your hair for you. Yeah. Okay, come on. Come on, Paul. Let's get it together. We can, we can win this one. It's, it's this whole like you grab like grabbing me and oh, that's been it. pretty uh, effective. Come on, boy! Oh, come on! Ugh. <laughs> Wait, oh, there's man. a hole in the ground. Did I do it? No! Yeah! <laughs> Stop! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die, Paul! Don't die! Don't die! No! Oh, your head broke. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> oh, <what is> it? <laughs> Am I being a bully now? So I think this is a good example of how maybe you should play a game a couple times before trying to take on someone who played multiple hours of it. Wow, you beat me on the first try. I did beat you on the first try. Yeah. Over. I still can't get over it, man. Because I was playing as a cat girl. You oh. know how I feel about cats? You want to try that? <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Wait, is it me? I'm not sure. I guess it's me. Welcome to the okay. King of Iron Fist. I will use Singapore, uh, Singapore Chinese, um, um, Chinese ancestor, you know. Martial law. Oh, I kind of like Eddie. Eddie looks kind of cool. And dance. You look like Oh, Lucia. I like dancing. I can do some like dance fighting. Hmm. Oh, we're back at Twilight Complex. This is the place oh, that okay. we did last time. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. Okay. Get ready for the next battle. Next battle. Remember to take breaks when playing in VR mode. Yeah, but we're not playing in VR mode, we're playing in regular. That's awesome that you can play this in VR though. How, how so you can see like punches flying into your face? Yeah, that sounds that so would be intense. Cool? Yeah. Come and get some. Oh, the scratches. Why are those pants? They look really comfy. Bruce Lee! You feel like water, my friend. I want that jacket. Fight. Oh, I, I got a chip kick on you. Oh, oh dear. I like my like, leather pants too, I just noticed them. Wow, that kick! Wow, that punch! Come on. Come on, What Eddie. else do I have? I like this little like... Wow, oh my god. Yeah, let's get. Hey, come on, Eddie. You and I got this. Let's go. Did I? Did I get it? I think you did. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did. Okay, okay now it's your turn. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, this is great. Oh. Oh Hell my yeah. god, this is so hey, good. Oh. oh Round shit. two. I think I'm gonna lose. Fight. Ah. <laughs> I'm just bashing one button. So far, you went pretty well. Ah! Oh shit. Oh man, that kick. Come on, Eddie, you got this. Yeah! Oh my god. Did I get it? I don't know. I'm hoping. Like, oh, I thought oh, I, I still blocked get it. You but... still got it, though. Okay. Oh shit. Nope! Yes, I won my first round! Wow. <laughs> Taking advantage of the low I kiss. win. Master. Master. Oh, that's all. Okay, Hopefully so then. now that I have officially won one, do you want to go draw? Mm, sure. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> if so, play? just a reminder to everyone watching, we're here today to celebrate Tekken 7, which CG last and I just played a bit of. Um, the stream is sponsored by Bandai Namco. Definitely go check out the game. It comes out tomorrow. Um, clearly, we're having a lot of fun playing it. So let's go uh, check out your artwork that you've been working on. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, dear. It's fine. Here. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, show us a little bit of what you are working on. Can you tell us a bit about this piece of artwork? Oh, okay. So uh, in Taken, they are actually featuring the story of the father and son battle of Kazuya and Heihachi. So yeah, I'm going to draw a fighting scene uh, of them. So can I, maybe I should just play the timeline. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so I have been working on it. Um, just so you guys don't have to see the process over and over again. So, um, and yeah, um, this is how I get into the coloring scene and changing their head poses and uh, everything. So, grayscale, and yeah, and then now color. And yeah, so I should just continue and color. That sounds great. So, you're working right now on coloring this artwork, right? Yeah. How yeah. long does the coloring process usually take you? Uh, it really depends. There are things I work on for weeks, and there are some that I finish in a day. So, uh, this this one is definitely going to take a long time <laughs> because there's two character. And, yeah. yeah. How often do you usually draw more than one character in comparison to drawing one? Uh, it's actually very rare. It's really rare because uh, most of my work involve about uh, revolves around just one character, and even if there is multiple character, they won't be the they won't be the focal point. But in this scene, there's two characters, so uh, it, I will take a long time to balance the, the focal point out. Yeah, so after the coloring phase is actually not the end. Uh, there will be uh, changing of contrast between the background and the character and decision making on putting the light source and stuff. Yeah, that yeah. sounds, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah, so it's tough. <laughs> so to those of you who are watching right now, I just want to let you know if you have any questions for CG Lass as he draws, you can leave them in the chat for the Twitch stream, and we're going to be reading them and actually asking CG Lass some of your questions live. So you can go ahead and do that and hear some of your questions answered. So how long would you say you've spent on this piece of artwork so far? How long? Uh, I've been spending on it about two hours, three hours to reach this level, yeah. Um, no, normally, um, actually I don't, I'm not very familiarized with doing line work because normally I started out painting uh, straight on the canvas. But um, I would say having a good planning beforehand would be, is actually a plus. So that you know what you want, what's the end result when you're doing it. Uh, especially for events like that when everyone can already at least imagine how the finishing piece look finishing piece look like. Yeah. How long do you spend thinking about the piece in addition to drawing? So, so obviously you have to draw it and try out the different yeah. things, but do you also think about it between the different sessions? Or do you think about, like, how long is it mental versus physical drawing? I think I think about it ever since I bought the plane. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. so it has been a long time. And yeah, I've been thinking what's the best for, for you guys. And yeah, what's the best? What 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 does the fan want to see? You know. So um, the thing is, um, when I got introduced to play Taken, um, I mean, I'm I'm new to Taken, but I play a bit of the uh, the, the older ones. But um, I want to know what the fans really like. So the true experience is actually after I get to play the game. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I realize this this pair of father and son is is the is the way to go. Definitely. Um, we have a question from Jared, who's watching the stream. He said, oh. hey, CG, I love how you draw motion. How oh. do you make it seem like the characters are about to obliterate each other? Oh, um, uh, I graduated from animation school. So uh, my, other than drawing, my other specialty would be uh, deciding poses, uh, strong poses. And you want to train, you want to practice on capturing the line of action, like the spine mo motion, to show the, the energy uh, when someone is doing something. So um, if I were to break down uh, their spinal cord, right, you will see this line, and you will see this line, you know? Mm -hmm. So one is attacking and one is um, blocking, and you also see this line, you know? Yeah, but this line is definitely stronger because you want to show the action. Yeah. So yeah, and other than that, right, um, later on, uh, as we proceed, right, I will be adding, I will be adding uh, effects, I will be adding motion blur that further enhance the, 
the oh, look of it. interesting, yeah. Yeah, like now I'm blurring the line, so it looks like sh uh, shadow, you know? Yeah. Like, so yeah. what inspires the artwork that you make usually? In, um, it really depends. Uh, it's, it's like, if I've been, if today I'm, I will to be in China and not Los Angeles, I will be influenced by the, the infrastructure there, the people there. Uh, and now I'm in uh, Los Angeles, I'm I gonna take reference around me. Like, I feel that reference is something that is uh, very personal. Yeah, very personal to <clears throat> every one of you. That, that's, that's what makes every artist different. Definitely. Yeah. So what type of artwork do you enjoy drawing the most? Oh, um, I love to draw fantasy theme. Uh, even for my personal project, it's, they are all fantasy stuff. <clears throat> okay, right, wait, let me explain one thing. Right now, yes, I, I have merged down everything, and I'm going to paint on top of it. Okay. Yeah. So your final piece that you have, is it going to have like none of these lines in it? It's all just going to be, is this more for reference, or are these actual lines going to show up in the artwork that you create? Uh, no, there won't be a line. Um, I don't prefer a line in my work. Okay, so how long have you been an artist for? I have been drawing for eight years now. Um, yeah, I've been drawing for eight years, and uh, I was in the army for two years, and school for animation school for three years. Okay. Yeah. So, did you when you first started drawing? Did you start with like pencil and paper, or did you start with digital tools? Mm, I. When I was, uh, before I even get into like serious about art, I was drawing on paper, I, like how everyone started, you know. Uh, and then when I get into schools, um, I actually I do a lot of digital. Though even though school has like three hours of drawing session, they encourage us to draw on, on books. Actually, pretty much both, but mainly digital. Cool. Yeah. So I have a question for you from mm. Howling Nico. Oh, Howling Nico? Yep. Yeah. They said, hey, CG bro, a question. Yep. Did you study the depth of the human body anatomy? And if you did, how was your progress in studying it? Um, I actually um, don't, don't know as much as the doctors. Uh, but I would say I right, just leave it to the basic uh, of knowing the basic forms. And then like little muscles, like how our bicep have like actually two to three smaller muscles. Those stuff can be, you can actually cheat, cheat it, and you can actually edit. Uh, whether you want to edit or not is up to you because it, it's all artistic license at the end of the day. You want the veins to look good, you want the muscle to look good. They can be <coughs> uh, imagined, yeah, imaginated by you. Yeah, so you don't. I feel that you don't have to know every single thing, but it's good to know. It's, it's really good to know. How long did it take for you to learn how to like draw a body in an anatomical uh, way? Oh yeah, this this is the thing about um, drawing is that when I when I was in school, right, um, perspective and form is not uh, overly stressed. Uh, that it's it's not the most important thing. So when I was drawing for two years, I realized that my drawing is still the same. It, doesn't really improve. Okay, perhaps my colors improve, my design improve, but overall, when I start to draw, it's they all still look weird. You know, they they look deformed, and I was like, what what is what actually? Uh, how can I further improve of this, of this uh, on this? And after that, I came across some uh, educational video on YouTube, and they actually um, emphasize that perspective and forms is more important than uh, than anatomy. Because uh, knowing anatomy, uh, is, you j only know how muscle works, but you still don't know how to draw them in the form. So you still have to, <clears throat> you still have to learn uh, normal, uh, the basic of perspective and forms before you can proceed to actual detailed uh, muscle stuff. Mm -hmm. yep. So I definitely recommend everyone to uh, learn uh, basics, uh, basic stuff like forms and perspective. Before going into uh, before going into anatomy. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's a really interesting way of thinking about it because so many people. Um, we've actually talked to some other artists about anatomy as well. We had Sao Shin here last week. We had. 
Tamborella a while ago and before that Sukimi Chan and everyone's had such a different perspective on how to learn anatomy and it's so yeah. interesting to hear the different artists talk about it because you guys all have such different styles. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of other artists, um, are there any other artists who you look at who inspire your work? Sakimi Chan. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, I, um, I have been looking at a lot of Chinese artists. Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, I, I look at Alvin Lee's work. She, he does a lot of, uh, he worked for Street Fighter. And I think, did he work on Taken? I guess so. I mean, they are, all, sure. they are all in the same crowd. Yeah. You know? So I, I look at them as well for, because they, other than knowing muscle, they, they really make muscle look so good and so juicy, as you can see from the games, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I look at them and yeah. Basically I break down I break down my learning process. Like I like this guy's anatomy and I like the other guy's rendering and I like another guy's color. So I break down my references. So I know I know where to get my references uh, when as I go along learning. Have you found any um, different or interesting inspiration while you've been in Los Angeles? Mm -hmm. uh, whether it was from the people, the landscapes, the food, anything like that. Mm, this is not the first time I've been here. So you have been here a couple of times, yes. Yeah. yeah, so I guess the food. The food, the food yeah. The food, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inspires me to cook, I guess, when I go back. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. yeah. Cool. So I have a question from <clears throat> Silly Thing Ovo, and who <clears throat> wants to know, do you prefer digital or traditional for drawing? Mm. I guess if you talk about comfort zone, I, I would like digital, but uh, if you talk about learning, definitely I have a lot to learn for traditional art. How much time do you spend doing traditional versus digital, would you say? How much time? Actually, maybe 10 to 1% of <laughs> traditional. And the other 90 to 99% is? Yeah, because most of my work involves tra uh, digital. Uh, I only do traditional when I am taking the train, when I'm out, you know, when you, are, you go out, you're supposed to meet someone, yeah. then you actually don't have the time to draw. That makes sense. Yeah. And then, so what type of tools do you use at home when you draw digitally? Uh, just um, a small, a medium, you know, uh, a small Intuos Pro. Uh, and you're working on a Cintiq Companion now. Yep. Um, do you prefer drawing directly onto the screen, or do you prefer drawing on like the Intuos where you draw on the tablet while looking at the screen? Um, to me, both are fine because uh, I used to work for Wacom, and I know most of their product. I tried their products for hours, and I'm fine with both. But I would say if you have the money to invest, get get a get a Cintiq companion because uh, that's how drawing should feel like, you know. Yeah, because you're drawing directly on it, it's yeah. a lot easier. Probably yeah. also relates a lot more easily to people who draw traditionally as exactly, well. Exactly, exactly. So what are you doing now in the piece that you're working on? Okay, since I blur everything uh, already, um, now the the lines just look like shadow. All I need to do right now is going in and fill in the details. How long does this uh, detailing phase usually take? It takes a long time. <laughs> uh, I cannot finish in this stream, but I will yeah. try my best to at least finish up the, uh, I know, uh, make them look nicely. So I noticed that you've <laughs> switched the canvas. You reversed it, right? Did I? Like, like that? Yes, that. Oh. Um, so this why do you do that? Um, basically, I, when you switch the canvas, you are actually um, refreshing your view on, on the picture. It's like, this is the first time I see this picture. And you want to keep doing that so that you can catch your own mistake. Like, right now, um, if I were to catch my own mistake, right, this, this part has a lot of problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the head, the, um, she, she suddenly have a bulge here, and then where's his scar, you know? Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, so, so I, you can I actually see all that? I can see when on you it. reverse it. Exactly. And l like now, this, this part of the hand is one lump of shape. So uh, there needs to be fixes and stuff like that. So how, many, how often would you say that you do reverse it when you work on a piece? Oh, uh, actually, when you, when you, whenever you like it. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Um, I have another question from Howling Nico, yep. who's watching. Um, they wanted to know, how many companies in total have you worked for, and which one did you like the most? <coughs> I don't think I can count the amount of companies <laughs> but I have been working for uh, I've been working for uh, Sci Games and Bushiro, which both are 
Japan Japanese company and now Bandai. Yeah. Um, and <coughs> yeah, they are really nice people. And <coughs> I would say <coughs> the f the fact that I'm working for just Japanese company is because my style fit their style. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, wait, what's the question again? Um, what companies have you really enjoyed working for? Enjoy. Um, I guess I'm I'm good with all of my most of my clients, and yeah, I tell you, I tell you, I tell him later. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> because, also, yeah. a bunch of the people who are watching the stream notice that you are actually left-handed. Yeah, I am. Um, are you ambidextrous or are you just left-handed? I'm just left-handed. Okay, and how does that does that affect drawing at all? No. I know some things are kind of built for right-handed people occasionally. Like if you use like a binder, no. sometimes one of my friends their hand runs into the rings all the time. <laughs> oh, uh, so far as a left-hander, I mean, so far the hardest thing to use is guitar. Oh, right that's interesting. Guitar. Yeah, I, other than that, I don't find any problem. Even using a mouse with right hand is fine. Um, I even play some you know, games with right hand. It's fine. Yeah, so playing video games is exactly the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Cool. So for those of you who are watching, again, my name is Maddie. I'm from DeviantArt, and I'm here with CG Labs. We are here to promote Tekken 7 coming out tomorrow. The stream is sponsored by Bandai Namco. Um, the game, as I said, is coming out tomorrow, June 2nd. If you have any questions for CG Labs, <laughs> it's been really fun. We were playing it earlier. Um, and if you have any questions for CG Labs, you can go ahead and leave it in the text um, on the chat on the side of her, the Twitch stream, and I will be able to ask him live. Yeah. So I have a question from Duma's God. Okay. And he wants to know what artist or artwork made you want to pick up drawing in the first place? <clears throat> Actually, when I first come into the industry, I don't know anyone. I only acknowledge good art. So I don't, in fact, I just don't know anyone. But I was fortunate when I was in my school. Uh, I have a teacher, his name is Sean Ye. And he does really nice fantasy stuff. And I learned a lot from him. And he, he has been my, um, you know, my idol for the whole school timing. I like, after, you know, at the end of this school, at this graduation, I have to draw like him. I have <laughs> to, I have to, you know, I have to beat this guy, you know. Um, that, that's the thing that uh, makes me want to go on because I have a guide, I have someone to guide me and I just continue to keep drawing uh, 10 hours, 8 hours a day, you know, after my assignment I will be drawing instead of gaming. Yeah. yeah I put out gaming for about 2 years, 2 and a half years. Yeah, I, I guess that's a, that's a good sacrifice for Yeah. Me. Um, yeah. So when you graduated, were you drawing like him? <laughs> you said that was your goal? No, I was still bad. <laughs> yeah, so, but then uh, I sort of, I, th I thought that my color could, I, can, I could easily match his color. Uh, yeah, but I was still bad at forms and stuff like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so you've spent some time playing Tekken. Yep. Do you have any favorite characters that you've played as so far? Chloe. But yeah. I, I'm still losing with her, so. Was Chloe the, uh, which one was she? Was she uh, the, the cat girl. Yeah, cat girl. Oh, cat yeah, she was yeah. great. Uh, I yeah. love her arms. She was really fun. She is so cute, yeah. Um, so I have a question from the chat. Yeah. There are a lot of people who want to start out drawing who ask for tips on how to start out. What mm. would you say to any beginners? Um, you have to pursue realism and forget about styles. Just pursue realism. That's, that's the thing that keeps me learning a lot because when you, uh, after you learn realism, style is actually the breakdown of realism, so you don't have to worry about that so much. So once you have good understanding of realism, you can probably create anything. So it's like you have to know the rules before yeah. breaking the rules? That's right, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. There's a book I read, I think I mentioned this in the last stream actually, that talked huh? all about that. Um, it was just like a yeah. fiction book where, about an artist. And it was a really cool thing. So how long did it take you to learn the rules and then develop your own style? Uh, I am still learning it. <laughs> and I don't really have a style. And I guess... If you talk about style, right, I would be like, I just draw what I like. I don't really care about the style. Um, yeah, I just re uh, just draw what you like. Uh, and if you look browse through my DeviantArt gallery, you will see um, cell shaded drawings. You will see heavily painted drawings, and you will also see heavily uh, lasso drawing. So that's so many different ways to draw. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways. Yeah. 
You spent how many hours a day would you say that you spend drawing? Um, right now, um, just like work hours, eight hours a day. But uh, when I was learning, right, um, if you if you can don't rest, you don't rest. You just keep drawing. You can draw twelve hours, sixteen hours a day, draw until wow. you sleep. <laughs> you have to you have to commit the time because I was desperate back then when I first came out of army. You know, I have to straight away either pick a job or I have to get into schools. And I tell myself, um, I want to I want to learn something first. I, I don't want to give up on this field. And I was dreaming for about a good one and a half year in Picado before I moved into Twitch. And yeah, I I have been doing well since then. And yeah, yeah I've been learning stuff as well from, from all the artists. when you stream, you stream for like five, eight hours at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. So do you just, whenever you draw, you just kind of turn on the Twitch streams, so that way people can follow along? Uh, okay. Uh, in uh, last time, I used to stream because I want to share the process of growth and stuff. Mm -hmm. And also, I would tend to ask my audiences for feedback because I believe that no matter how good or how bad a person is, they are the consumers. And consumers know what they want and what they don't want. Regardless if it's relevant or not, I will still listen to them. I put down my ego and listen to them. And I believe it's, it makes a big, uh, a, a big difference to listen to people. Yeah. I, I know it's going to be a lot of work like, oh shit, I have to spend another five hours doing the extra changes, yeah. doing five different versions just to compare, you know. I would say it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, that, that's how like like most of my art right uh, right now, right? It's because of all the sample size I go through and yeah. I and I try to you know make it smaller and smaller and like people like this. That's how why I tell myself. Cool. But yeah. So I have a question from someone in the chat who asks: When you create fighting artwork, are there certain considerations that you would need to factor into the artwork that's different than when you draw artwork that's not fighting? Oh. Um. Okay, when I uh, I basically draw for three purpose. Okay. One is to create an illustration that tells a story. Uh, one is to depict motion, and one is draw for print. So, <clears throat> drawing a fighting scene is just like drawing motion, and and yeah. You um, usually draw motion, correct? Yeah, even for my print, yeah, I also have motion. Yeah. So there can be a mix, uh, but. I guess um, in any kind of artwork, right, if you are drawing a character, right, you want to show the expression of the character. And, and the most of the part will be you trying to figure out whether his expression is fitting with the scene he's currently doing. Like, is this angry enough? Mm -hmm. uh, is, is he using enough force or is this just a light kick? You know, stuff like that. So if it's not strong enough? Is it because of the gesture that doesn't make it too soft? Or is it because they are not close enough? Or because there's no blur? Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Or is it because there's no lightning? You know, because both of their skills are lightning. Yeah. Yeah. So for those who've just tuned in recently, can you explain a little bit about like what the subject of your artwork today is? Oh, OK, sure. Um, we are working on Bandai fan art today. And this is about. And uh, right now, Taken 7 is about the story between Kazuya, the, f the son, and Heihachi, the father. <coughs> yep. Cool. And yeah, the rest of the story you have to find out yourself. <laughs> By the playing game. the game, available yeah. tomorrow. Yep. Um, so I have a question from Arashix 96 yep. And they wanted to know, what can an artist do to get more visibility? Sorry? Um, what can an artist do to have their artwork seen more they have more people start okay. to figure out who they are. Mm, I guess Divina is a good place to start. Uh, but if you can, you diversify as much as possible. But mm -hmm. Divina is definitely a good place because they have so many communities. And when you join a community, right, there are people who just want to browse art. So you have to share your art in those community forums. And yeah, you know, like if, let's say, Taken is famous now, and Taken fan art is going to take over the world. And then you can see a lot of communities perch up because of Taken fan art alone. So if you did a Taken fan art, I mean, you should share in the community and not just post and wait. Yeah, I mean, that kind of fishing is, you, you are just waiting for nothing to happen. 
you have to show, you have to go to where people are. Cool. Yeah, you cannot just wait for the things to come to you. For sure. For those watching, um, you can find CG Last at cglas.deviantart.com. That's cglas.deviantart.com. And you can check out his profile and a lot of the artwork has created in the past. And you'll be uploading this piece of art once you're done with it, correct? Yeah, of course. Ah, you switched it again. It's so cool to see your uh, process. <laughs> right. Awesome. So we have a question. Um, besides drawing the human form, so males and females, is there anything else that you really enjoy drawing? Um, OK, uh, when I was, sorry, let me do this first. Oh, yeah, go okay, for it. Do you when... want to explain what you're doing? Oh, I'm just duplicating so I can save all the progress. That's a good yeah, call. and there's a lot of layer management I have to go through. How many layers do you usually create when you make a piece of art? It depends. It, there are some with hundreds over layer. There are some oh, with wow. one layer. So it depends on the process. Okay. How often do you save? You try to save um, every time you can, as long as it doesn't lag, <laughs> because. Um, if you are in my, on my Twitch right now, there will be a notification that asks me to save every 30 minutes or every 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Because I, cr I, crashed, I crashed on one of the streams. Oh, no. That's horrible. <clears throat> yeah. And I've had that happen before where I put like hours right. into something and then my computer decides to stop working because right. I was using a really old computer yeah. for a while. That yeah. was horrific. So yeah. save early, save often. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes uh, this is just one file, right? I mean, the more important thing is your hard disk. Mm -hmm. You want to keep it in the cr uh, in the cloud server. Yeah. Because that that is actually the assets you have. You know, uh, mm -hmm. all your artworks, all your hard work inside. And if you lost the high res, you lost yourself for like a, a few years. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to keep that uh, or upload to somewhere that will never fall. Yeah. Um, so I have a question from a couple of people have asked this actually. What is the hardest thing for you in making artwork? What do you struggle with the most? Um, actually, I struggle with everything. If you guys have been watching my stream, I struggle with everything. When I zoom in, I see problems after problems after problems. So um, that's why, again, I, I always ask myself to step, step one, hit, uh, one step back and revisit the problem again. What is the more, most important thing in the drawing? What is the, is it the composition? Is it the expression? And what is the perspective like? And break it down like, right now, right, if I zoom out and this is not interesting, this is not interesting. You know, I, I go for the highest contrasting. So right now, that's, that's why I'm going back to this background layer and I am trying to, you know, make it work. Mm -hmm. So you see now I'm increasing the contrast of the background and whether it works or not, it's another story. So there's also trial and error, you know, like now I can add some red into the, the, the back. Oh yeah, I can see the color yeah. starting to come up. Yeah, add some blue in the mid-tone or green in the mid-tone. You know, does that work? If it doesn't, try, try another color. How often do you play with curves while making your artwork? Every time. Every, every time I start with grayscale, I will use curve to add colors. Because um, there's a few advantages about curves, although you don't have complete control over the colors you want to put. But um, in a drawing, right, the exact color does not matter. What matters is if you zoom out and this comes together because you picked the right color, then this comes together. It doesn't matter there's a red in the you know in somewhere or there's mm -hmm. a strong green in somewhere you can add it on later on but the overall is what matters if if it doesn't read right now i will retry this until i get it right that's really cool yeah and, and you can always go in and add more layers like right now let's say i add too much red and say um i want some blue from the left to the right you know just go to the gradient tool uh, maybe i want some green do this. Is it working? Okay. Oh. Okay, sorry. My no thing. Yeah. See green? Does it work? Yeah. Does it work? Uh, play with the play with the colors. Oh the colors looks bad. <laughs> so try soft light. Oh soft light is nice because there's some, you know, just a little bit of change. And play with play with the slider, you know? Like this way you have so much control over it and it looks it looks good. And also, because I learn from various artists, 
in, in the olden days, there's a step called glazing. And this is the glazing steps. You want, okay. when you add a blue, you don't add it on one place. It slowly fades in, it slowly bleeds into every part. And I, I always use that as a stepping stone for my artwork. So you've been using Photoshop today, obviously. Do you always use Photoshop or? Yeah, I use it 90% uh, of the time. But when I want to explore, I will try out other software. And I, I actually l would also recommend starter beginners to use Clip Studio Paint first because um, Right now, when I'm using Photoshop, right, most of the things I'm doing is editing. It's definitely not drawing, like adding the colors with a gradient. It's, it's all editing work, you know? Yeah. It's not drawing. And Clip Studio Paint allow you to focus on drawing. So and not on all the fancy curves and stuff like that, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah they, does, they, they actually don't, I think they don't have the curve, but that's why it makes it more technical. Yeah. But it's, it's fun because their brushes are easier to set. Okay. Yeah. Do you use your own custom brushes, or do you uh, use the basic ones? There's a website. You want to type it down? Sure. Digital brushes. Digital brushes. Dot tumblr. Dot com. Okay. All the great masters brushes are there, and I I download them. I delete the ones I don't want. I classify them, and then I save it as my own one. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever made your own brushes completely yeah, from I, scratch? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, but then I re uh, after I do that and I realize that their yeah, brushes are better, I just grab all my brush. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, you're gonna try it. For sure. Um, is there a story behind your username CG Lass? Like, what does it mean? No, no, that's <laughs> no. There's no story. No story. It's just yeah. There's no story. It's just like I read a book and this guy's name is like that. And how about I be the other guy? You know, something gotcha. like that. Cool. Um, so I have a question from, sorry, give me one second. We have a question from someone in the chat who wants to know, do you ever, so you said you rarely do traditional, um, what type of traditional do you do when you do it? Uh, I love brush pens a lot and I do a lot of vehicle, uh, vehicle spaceship uh, sketches on my sketchbook. Uh, but now I am venturing into Copic Marco. Uh, I, I just, I'm just super bad at it. You, know, <laughs> you can laugh at me. But it's okay because that's how you, you have to start out bad so that way then you can become good. That's right. I'm, I'm not afraid of failing. Yeah. But so how often do you think that you do fail? In terms of like, because you have to fail a lot in order to succeed? Uh, how much time? If, do you if failure and succession can be in ratio, mm -hmm. I guess I fail 90% of the time. I feel like that's something that people don't often realize is mm. that, because yeah. usually, for instance, like all, your DeviantArt gallery is gorgeous. You go mm. through it and there are all these really beautiful pieces. They mm. don't see the pieces that don't make it into your gallery mm, yeah. or the early versions. Yeah, even if they do, they're probably not aware because they just skip, skip, skip. You know? Yeah, definitely. Um, how much of your artwork do you share versus how much do you not post? Not post? Uh, currently, I have an entire uh, personal project that is in my stash. But it's really hard to compare because the amount of work, uh, the amount of time I put in, okay, let's say the project is hanging there for two years. Mm -hmm. And over these two years, I definitely did more client work than ever and more fan art than ever, I guess. That's just a small portion. But when you see it, you would think it's, I, I spent years on it because I thought of them when I, I uh, there's more thinking than drawing, but the, the thinking is what makes it better than other, other art, you know? So you are a professional artist, you have clients, you draw fan art for fun, and you also have a personal project. Mm. How do you not get exhausted and tired of drawing? <laughs> uh, that's, that's the thing you have to ask, why do you become an artist? Because I just love drawing, it's my innate, you know? Mm -hmm. Although uh, I came into art because my grade wasn't good. I wanted to get into psychology, but I, I was so lucky I didn't because I really love art now. Yeah. yeah, and you're good at it, so it's cool to uh, watch you do this. Yeah. So what are you working on currently? At home? No, I mean in the drawing. Oh, fixing his chin, but I think this is not working yet. Uh, okay, so, so now I'm going to cheat. So we, in photo, oh, this is something, this is something Clip Studio Paint never have, and this is something everyone abuses. 
even Sakimi can abuse it. So this is Oh yeah, I have seen this before, yeah. Yeah. You've seen a lot of uh, YouTube videos, right? They make fat people into thin. Uh, really yeah, I mean, thin. I've seen. Uh, I think I saw like Sakimi Chan. I think I've seen other artists use this tool yeah. just kind of fix the shape a little bit if they yeah. don't like how they had it before. Yeah, but I try not to even use this. Now we are running short of time. I will use it, but I, I don't want to use this because this this tool is what makes me, not improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it, this just tells me that my planning is bad. Gotcha. So I try not to use this as much as I can, but if I have to use it, then no choice, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but two tools are there for you to help you better yourself. Yeah, I mean, more like help you to get better result. But tools, sometimes when you are too comfortable, then you won't grow, right? Yeah. So just a reminder to everyone watching, if you have any questions for CG Last, you can leave them in the chat on the Twitch stream here. Um, we are here celebrating the release of Tekken 7. CG Last is drawing some fan art from the game. And um, the game comes out tomorrow. Um, Bandai Namco is sponsoring the stream, um, so thank you to Bandai Namco. And yeah, check out the game when it comes out tomorrow. So. I have a, another question for you. OK. Um, how often do you look back at your old artwork compare and compare it to your new artwork? Uh, actually, recently quite a lot, because um, everyone comes to my stream. Uh, how does your old artwork look like? And just happened that I'm cleaning up my hard disk, and I browse through them. I show it to the stream. I share it with them. And yeah, um, so it's quite quite common. Now. How does it feel to look at old stuff? Uh, does it feel good because you can see how you've grown? Nah, Is it I like to, I want to delete them. <laughs> but you don't, right? I or can't. I mean that's 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 to remind myself. Yeah. Know? It's I, I used to be like that, you know, and I I can delete it if I want, but then I want to also show you guys that it's possible that you can learn art from nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because a lot of people give up because they think that you you require talent to learn art, but I don't believe in that. I think it's just more practice than anything else. More practice, else. more determination. How know. many hours a day do you practice? When oh, just like I mentioned just now, when I was uh, when I was out of the army, I for one year I've been streaming every day about at least eight hours. I was streaming, but sometimes I, sh I also draw offline, mm -hmm. so it can add, add up to twelve hours a day. I, I've just been really staying on my on my desk, you know. Yeah. For How long ago time. did you get out of the army? That was three years ago? Oh, five, five, five years, years ago, ago, I guess. Uh, 2014. Okay, so that was three years ago. Three years ago. Oh, yeah, it's just three years. Yeah. yeah. And so you've been drawing a lot since then. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Did you draw yeah. while you were in the army at all? Uh, I did. Um, when I was in army, I, I don't really have the time to draw when I was inside, but I get to come out every few days. Mm -hmm. So when I come out, no, I'm not going out. I'm just going to stay at home and draw. But I don't see the improvement there. I really don't see the improvement. At least you didn't get worse, though. So that's good, right? Yeah, at least I didn't get worse. <laughs> so you're kind of maintaining your same skill. Yeah, and while I was there, um, uh, while, you know, while I can't do stuff by myself, I actually visited streams. And that's how I found out about streams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually watched those uh, really um, starting out artists or those professional artists, which is they are now making, you know, I mean, they are now in a very, very good position. They are mm -hmm. working for big company, working for Magic the Gathering. They work for, um, I don't know, wh whoever that I met at uh, in convention, you know. Yeah. And yeah, and we became friends, like because just because we are doing the same thing. And you have some conventions coming up, right? Yeah, a, a bunch of them. Do you want to mention some of the ones that you're going to be at? Uh, I'll be in AFA Thailand. The next one, the uh, it's it will be in 10 June. Mm -hmm. And then I will be in Anime Expo again. Back in LA. Yeah, back in LA. And then I will be in STGCC in Singapore, and then Game Start in Singapore as well. So some people in the stream have mentioned that they remember some 12-hour streams that you've done. Oh. Um, how do you manage your time to make sure that you're also just like carrying, like you have time to do like the things you need to do oh. in like life? Just just forget about everything else. If your mom wants to scold you, just let them scold you. Just, <laughs> just keep drawing. Like, you know, when you, I, I think that the harder part will be when you first started, right? Your parents don't believe you can make it because this, they don't see anything in this field. They don't know anything about yeah. this field. Even when I first started, I, I don't even trust myself. I don't, I don't know 
whether this is the right way, where is the money, and can I survive as an artist? But I just like to draw, you know. Mm -hmm. So I tell myself, you know, I, I shouldn't care about all these things, I should just care about my craft. And when I'm good in my craft, I will try to find people that appreciate my craft. And it has been just, you know, posting fan art. It's just as simple as posting fan art now. So yeah. speaking of posting your artwork, um, yeah. do you think it's more difficult or like now, or do you think it was is easier now for newer artists to be discovered? It's more difficult now. Okay, why is that? Uh, because of the algorithm change uh, for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Because uh, in the past, like maybe we say four, three years ago when I first started, um, let's say everyone make a minimum. Okay, I don't know the the actual statistic. Let's say everyone make one post a day. Yeah. Now everyone make 10 posts a day. So there's just a lot more congestion. Yeah, and, and then to prevent this from happening, from flooding, uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram, they make it that you can only, only a few of your posts will be shown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so people can completely miss your stuff. Got it. Yeah, so right now, I feel the way to go as a, someone who started out is join as many groups as, as possible because you will be hanging around people who are also interested in art. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. So yeah. by groups, do you mean DeviantArt groups or are there other groups? Every, every other social media, but DeviantArt is definitely a good start. You know, DeviantArt is, yeah. Yeah. DeviantArt, I mean, the fact that I'm here now just tells you that DeviantArt is better, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So some of the people watching have noticed that you use the lasso tool instead of using an eraser. Huh? Oh. Why uh, do you do that? I mean, there's a big difference between an eraser and a lasso tool. Look mm -hmm. at what the eraser does. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, okay, right now I'm getting cre crisp edges, so mm -hmm. I cannot use the eraser. I, this is flat. This is one layer. Okay, so you're just drawing in that small area. Instead yeah, so, so if you look at what the... Lasso tool is doing Control H hide the lasso, mm -hmm. and then you see this. Yeah. You see the edges. Yeah. You see the edges. Yeah. This this gives you much more creeps. Okay. Edges, and yeah, this is required uh, for all, most of the art I do. I mean, they, you want creeps line, you have to do this. Gotcha. Yeah. So how often like or. What is the hardest part of a part of a picture to draw? So, for instance, is it hard for you to draw clothing? Is it harder for you to uh, draw anatomy? Like, what is the more difficult part for you? Um, I think I think right. Uh, the question might not just be why is the harder part to draw. Mm -hmm. the, the The harder question would be what do people want to look at, and most of the time it's the face. That's why face is the hardest to draw, because um, it's hard to get. It's hard to please everyone, and after being into so many conventions, I can tell that as long as you don't draw good faces, it's very hard to sell the, a particular piece of art. Gotcha. And yeah, I mean, yeah, faces is definitely the hardest. No matter what kind of skill level you are, faces will always be the hardest. Cool. Yeah. So we just have one more question for you um, mm. before our time's up. But just what is the number one tip you have for all artists? The number one like piece of advice that you would give? Uh, wow, this is hard. <laughs> oh, focus on yourself and not other any other thing. Just focus on yourself. Cool. Yeah, don't get distracted. Um, you can talk to friends. That's fine, but don't don't compare yourself. You can compare yourself, but don't don't shit talk other, about other people. Just you know, you are you. Uh, if someone is doing something you don't like, it's just you then that you don't like. You know. Yeah. And art is subjective. If you like to draw, say, if you like to draw monsters and no one appreciate monsters, I mean, you should still do monsters, and maybe in the future you will find a community that likes monsters instead of just girls all day. Yeah. I mean, you should just continue and do what, what you do. And at the, at the end of the day, right, when you are committing about a thousand hours into monsters, then you are the best artist to draw monsters, right? Who else can, can surpass you in that, right? Yeah. So I say just focus on yourself, just, just uh, don't get distracted by games, by, um, yeah, by life, you know, and be selfish a little bit, <laughs> just do what you want to do.
That sounds like a great piece of advice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, CG Last, for joining us and creating yeah. this amazing piece of artwork. <laughs> thank thank you. you to everyone who's watching and for all the great questions as well. And definitely thank you to Bandai Namco, who is the sponsor of this stream. Um, as I said earlier, we are here to celebrate the release of Tekken 7, which is coming out tomorrow. Definitely check it out. Um, you can pick it up, like I said, Friday, June 2nd. And if you miss any of the stream today, don't worry. Um, go to deviantart.com slash Tekken 7, and you'll be able to watch the entire stream there, or you can watch the entirety of the stream here on CG Glasses Twitch stream. Yep. So thank you so much, and we'll see you guys another time. Bye-bye.